All right, child's pose. Knees out wide, big toes to touch. Lengthen your spine forward. Rest your forehead down towards the earth. Pause here for a few rounds of breath. Feel your lips. Breathe in and out of your nose. Start to build some heat internally. Fill up nice and deep with an inhale and crawl your palms a little bit more forward, lengthen through your spine. Out the nose, exhale, let your body melt towards the mat. Three more breaths like that. Let go of anything on your, your thinking, your schedule, your agenda. Just release all of that. Be present here now. Focus on your breath. Big breath in through your nose. Out the nose, clearing breath out. One more cycle of breath. Use your next inhale to come up to tabletop pose. Rise your palms up on your shoulders, fingers spread wide, knees pull in under your hips. Undulate through your spine, cats and cows. As you inhale, dip your belly down, crown of head and hips rise up, feel your heart forward. And your exhale breath, cat, round into your spine, actively press through your palms and knees, stretch the back of your neck here. Move with your breath a few cycles. Inhale, cow pose, open heart. And exhale, cat, rounding. Organic movement, sway side to side if you want to add that on. Flip your wrists for some wrist therapy. We've got about four more full cycles of breath here. Just to warm up your spine, side bodies, flip your wrists, tuck your toes, any of these things you want to do. One more cycle of breath. And then let's meet back in tabletop pose. Nice long neutral spine. Knees are under hips, tuck your toes and hover your knees about an inch or two off the earth. Keep your neck long. We're gonna draw knee to elbow one at a time. Start with your right leg, take a breath in. On your exhale, squeeze your knee towards your elbow or your tricep, step it back. Other side, squeeze with your exhale, step it back. Try to keep your knees hovered and try to avoid shifting side to side. Try to stay neutral. Shoulders are broad. Avoid sinking your torso in between your armpits. Press up. Keep looking at the top of your space and just walking your knee side to side for four more. Last three. Knees down in two and one. Knees down. Go ahead, untuck your toes. Take a seat on your legs. These are called bottoms up lunges. We're just going to get started right away. So you can watch me break it down. Do it with me. Take a breath in. On your exhale, rise up. Use your glutes and your hamstrings to do that. Inhale, start with your right leg or your left leg, rather. Plant it so you have a 90 degree bend. And then as you exhale, all the way up, knee lifts. Then take it all the way back down to your knees, nice and slow. Take that seat. Same thing, other side. Take a breath in. As you exhale, lift. Inhale, plant your left foot. And exhale all the way to the top. Breathe all the way back down. We're gonna do this a few times, so just repeat. Nice and slow. And when you step up, avoid pushing yourself up. What we wanna do is use your glutes and hamstrings for the press. And you can start to seamlessly, fluidly make these shapes meld together. Let's do four more. Really squeeze your glute at the top as you lift your knee. Use your core to get your knee a little higher. Three more. Last two. And last one, finish it off. Come back down. Nice. Tabletop pose. Take a breath and tuck your toes. Exhale, downward facing dog. Lift up. Pedal out your knees. Good job. Bend into your knees. Soften your neck, nod your head yes a few times. Press your torso back towards your thighs. Find some stillness. Inhale your right heel to the sky. Next, exhale, scorpion dog to peel up and open through your hip. Lift your knee up, bring your heel back towards your glute. Maybe you roll out your ankle a few times. Take a breath in. Next, exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, inhale your left leg to the sky, kick through your heel. And as you exhale, scorpion dog, open up your hip, your knee rises towards the sky. Maybe you roll out your ankle, another breath in. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bend your knees. And as you inhale, soften your arms and then exhale, walk towards the back of your space. We'll find ragdoll pose at the back. Soften your neck, find your binds. Maybe you pendulum swing side to side. Find straighter legs to wake up your hamstrings. I'm gonna do a lot of pacing yourself today. Full body workouts. And we're gonna wanna wake up our hamstrings a little more. So take another round of breath. 
Let's exhale, release your palms to the earth. Keep your feet hips with distance apart. Let's go ahead and sit back into a mini chair, kind of a squat, but we're not just releasing all the way down. So have some engagement, weights in your heels. Okay, we're gonna just move to forward folds in the squat to bring blood flow to the back line. So as you inhale, rise back to your forward fold. Fold over, find straighter legs. On your exhale, sit back and down. Inhale, lengthen your spine, folds. Exhale, sit back and down. You can spread your toes a little bit wider on the mat. Just getting the blood flowing in the back line, warming up the hamstrings a little bit more. Just give me three more of these. Two more. Squeeze your booty. Last one, sit down and back, press through your heels. Inhale, rise up, mountain pose, nice and tall. Touch your palms together at the top, find steeple grip. Interlace your fingers, release your thumb and point your finger. Full breath in. And your exhale, side body stretch to your right. Send your hips to the left. Inhale, pull up through center. Exhale, side body stretch, other side. Send your hips to the right. Inhale through center. And exhale, forward fold. Slice right through the midline of the body. Fold in half at your hips. Nod your head yes, release your palms at the bottom. Pedal out your knees. Inhale, finding a halfway lift. Draw your palms up to shins or thighs, shoulders down back. Get nice and long in your spine, soften your knees, breath in. High plank with your breath out, plant your palms, step your feet back. Nice job, friends. Our first chaturanga nadasana, we'll break it down. Inhale, shift slightly forward. Exhale, lower halfway down. You can always bring your knees, you can always go all the way down. Go all the way down, it's cobra pose, lift your heart or press up to straight arms for your upward facing dog. Feel your heart forward, activate your quads. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, soften your knees, look forward. Exhale, step to the top of your space. Halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, let it go. Inhale, mountain rise to the top, steeple grip. Exhale, side body stretch to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, side stretch left. Inhale, center. Exhale, fold. Release your palms at the bottom. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, chair utkatasana. Hips go down and back. Palms reach up to the front. Peel your heart forward. Sit back in your sit bones. Take a breath in. As you exhale, airplane arms. Sweep your palms back. Face your palms to the earth. Peel your triceps and pinkies together. Another breath in. Sit deeper, breath out. Inhale, chair. And now listen for this change, it's downhill skiers. As you exhale, it is a fold. Keep your hips low, squeeze and sit back as your arms come overhead. Inhale, chair. And exhale, downhill skiers. A few more times, inhale, chair, lift your heart. Exhale, skiers. Squeeze your booty. Chair, skiers. Two more, breathe. And exhale, ski it down. Last time, chair. For our last skier. Inhale, chair. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high plank, step it back. All right, friends, high plank, long across your spine. First mountain climbers, take it fast or slow. Let's go, knee to chest, step it across. Keep your spine long, look at the top edge of your space. Get your heart rate up a little bit. We won't be here for long. Last eight, seven, six, to your knees in five, four, three, two, and one. Bring your knees down. Grab your lighter heavy weights or your soup cans if you're using them. Maybe a water bottle or two. Roll your shoulders down your back. Knees are under your hips. Wide arm bicep curls. Bring your elbows out to your torso. Take a breath in. Two count, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower down. Exhale, lift. Lower, lower, lift, lift. Breathe. Exhale, lift. Energetically draw your inner thighs together. You soften your shoulders down your back. Hug your elbows into your torso. Letting your biceps fire up here, your neck be long. Nice and slow, four more. Three more. Last two. Find that 90 degree bend in one. We're gonna pulse it out and in. Out, out. In, in, out, out, in, in. Reach it out, keep your arms slightly bent so we're not straightening through with the weights in our hands. You got it. Take it out, squeeze it in. Four more, 
Squeeze it in. Three more. Squeeze it in. Last two. Squeeze it in. Last one, then double time. Squeeze it in. Let's go. Out, in, out, in. Keep letting your shoulders drop down your back. Squeezing so your heart stays lifted. Press the earth away through your knees. Engage your inner thighs. Four more. Last three. Just two. Hands to heart in one. Yes, nice job. Hammer curls, let your elbows face into your side. Weights are up and down. Take a breath in at 90. Exhales, lift, lower, lift, lower, lift, lower. You can do one at a time or both together. You've got it. Weights up to elbow height or rather shoulder height is what I meant. Woo. Four more. Three more. Last two. Got me one more, one more. Nice, put your weights down. Find your wide arm push up. So cactus arms smack to the outside edges of your space from your knees or toes, spine is long. Take a breath in, lower, lower, exhale, lift, lift. Lower, lower, lift, lift. Breathe, exhale, press. Elbows are going out wide, stacking over your wrists. Take your gaze at the top of your space, avoid crunching underneath you, you got it. Just four more. Last three. Two more. Let's go double time in one. Lower, lift, lower, lift. Give me four. Three. Two knees and two. And one. Nice. Come to your knees. Tuck your toes downward facing dog. Pedal it out, organic movement. Full breath in through your nose. Big open mouth. Exhale breath. Inhale, soften your knees, look forward. Exhale, move to the top of your space. Halfway lift, inhale, get long in your spine. Forward fold, let it go. Inhale, chair, utkatasana, palms to the sky. Take your feet hips with distance apart, hands can come to your heart here. We're gonna find our squats. So take it low, low, lift, lift. Two count, lower, two count, lift. Breathe as you lower, press through your heels for the lift. Slow to start, squeeze your booty as you stand. Breathe and press. And if you wanna add on some calf work, take it low and then press the ball downs of your feet as you lift to lift your heels. Take your heels back down when you lower, squeeze them up. Lift, lift, down, down, up, four more. Three more, we'll go double time, pin two, down, down, up, one. Go lower, lift, lower, lift. Make sure you're sending your booty back so that your knees can try to stack over your heels. Keep your knees slightly bent at the top. The reason why is to help avoid sending your hips too far forward. We wanna keep our low back safe. Squeeze your glutes as you stand, be active. Nice work. Four more. Three more. Two. Give me one more. Okay, come down low. Start with your right foot, press into the ball mount of your foot, let your heel pulse it here. Just pulse it here. Sit back so the weight's not going into your knee. Nice and low. Actively engage your booty so you're squeezing. You'll feel like an internal rotation of everything coming towards midline. Woo, press into the ball mount of your foot. You'll get some more hamstring work. Nice work, friends. Eight more. Seven. Keep your heart lifted. Six. Last five. Other side in four. And three. Two. And one, heel down, lift your left toes, or your left heel rather. Lower, lift, lower, lift. It's like a one leg squat, sort of. <laughs> Whew. Keep sending your hips back. Squeeze as you lift. <sighs> Amazing work. Eight, seven, last six, heart stays lifted. Five, four more, last three, we're gonna step that out wide in two and one. Awesome, Woo. step it out wide. Find your horse pose, heels and toes out. 
Get low here. So knees are over your heels and your toes and knees are facing about 45 degrees together. Actively squeeze your knees back. Horse squat or plie squat, so a little pulse at the bottom, give me two. Pulse, pulse, stand. Pulse, pulse, lift. Pulse, pulse, lift. Lower, lower, lift. Lower, lower, lift. You've got it, keep your heart raised. Breathe and lift. Go, you got it, friends. Woo! Can you get a little deeper in your pulse? Lift, pulse, pulse, lift. Squeeze your legs back, being active. Eight more, lower, lower, lift. Lower, lower, six more. Five, last four, three more. Step it in and two. And one, step your feet in hips with this. And so we'll start with a kick to the right. So it's a pulse, pulse, lift. Pulse, pulse, lift. Same side here. Kick your heel out so your toes are flexed. Use your glutes and your hamstrings to kick rather than pressing off the earth. Lift, pulse, pulse, lift. Eight more. Seven. Six, last five, just four. Other side's coming up. Last two, last one. Down, down to the left. Down, down, left. Kick through your heel. Lift your arch and your inner thigh a little higher. Lift, lift. Eight more. Seven, you got it, nice work. Last six, five, we're almost there. Four, last three, really squeeze your glute to get your heel high, last two, and one, nice. Inhale, mountain, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga and nasana, high to low plank. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Inhale, soften your knees, lift forward. Exhale, travel top of your space. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, let it go. Grabbing your light weights. Inhale, chair. Weights to shoulders. Weights to sky. Now take your weights down by your side. We're gonna rotate them to face the back wall. Sit deep in your sit bones, take a breath in, and triceps as you press back. Breathe, squeeze it back. So roll your shoulders down your back, lock them down, and then if you, the higher you press back, you'll feel it in your triceps, the muscles above your elbows. Try to sit down and back. So set up your lower half of your body. Sit back in your heels. Squeeze your inner thighs towards one another and rip the mat in half below your feet. You'll feel the outside edges light up of your legs. And now come to the midline of your body. Pull your pubic bone up towards your navel. Navel the spine, feel your core engage. And then let your shoulders soften out of your ears. Keep your heart lifted, peeled forward and squeeze it back. Give me eight more, you got it. Seven, last six, just five, four, Last three, hands to heart in two, and one. Hands to heart, nice work friends. Take a big breath in, lift your left leg high, one leg mountain. Next hill, crescent lunge, step back, nice slow and in control. Right knee is over your ankle. Crescent lunge, weights to shoulders, weights to sky. Then exhale, double lunge, weights to shoulders, weights to heart, melt that back knee down over your hip. Take a moment to make sure your back heel stays lifted, hip and knee are lined up, knee and ankle lined up. Let's pulse, pulse, straighten. Two, count, and lift. So your front knee is not really doing the work at all. It's your back hamstring. Pretend someone's pressing your hammy, and you press it up as you rise. Hands to heart so your elbows are out wide. Actively pressing your weights together or your palms. Give me four more. Last three. Just two. Pause low in one, 
Take it low. Okay, listen for this change up. We're gonna pulse, pulse, step forward to chair, switch legs. Pulse, pulse, chair squat. Pulse, pulse, chair squat. Switching side to side. If you have the weights in your hands, maybe you hang them down by your side for more of a deadlift. Keep rolling your shoulders down your back and pulling your heart forward. Now it's up to you if you wanna up level this. You can always put the weights down, make it more about cardio, you can jump switch it. But don't sacrifice your alignment for that. Cool, four more, last three. Amazing work, friends, last two. And one, find your crescent lunge, right foot forward, left foot back, weights to shoulders, weights to sky. Exhale, warrior two, shoulders, spin it out wide. Weights face up, hug your elbows in your torso. Front knee over ankle, back foot parallel to the mat. Bring your cactus arms, your goddess arms out. So your elbows are in line with your shoulders. Take them low to parallel to the earth. Squeeze them up, cactus. Breathe, exhale. Breathe, exhale, lift. Heart is forward, shoulders and hips are stacked. Be active through your legs here. Actively rip your mat in half, pull the energy from the ground up. That'll keep your stability and your strong base. Keep lifting your elbows up to shoulder height. No need to go higher. Deepen into your warrior lunge. Just four more. Last three. Amazing work. Two and one. Hug your elbows into your side. Take a breath in. Deep in here, breath out. As you inhale, reach out, flip your wrists down. Exhale, flip your palms back up, squeeze your elbows to your side. Inhale, rotate. Exhale, rotate again. Breathe, squeeze. Sock through your elbows as you extend. We're not completely extended. Four more. Last three. Peel your heart forward the whole time. Two more. Last one. Woo, nice work, hands to heart, take a breath in. And as you exhale, pivot forward, lifting your heel. Find your low lunge, put your weights down. Step back high, plank. Bring your left palm slightly forward. Open it up for side plank, roll your heels to the left. Right palm to the sky. Options here, stack your legs, flex your toes, or stagger your front foot in front of you. Let's go ahead and stagger our front foot in front. <laughs> Let's do some hip dips, lift up and down. Straight up and down. Start by pressing up high, getting up out of your shoulder socket and think of your lower ribs. It's lower, lower, lift, lift. Lower, lower, lift, lift. We won't be here for long. Shh. Imagine you're touched to a string from the ground to the ceiling. So your hips are going straight up and down, stacked. Exhale as you lift, four more. Last three. Chaturanga Nadasana in two and one. Find your high to low plank, take what you need. Inhale, up dog or cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Full breath in, full breath out. Come to your knees. Woo. How you doing, friends? Cool. We're gonna do a little belly up core and then move on. Plant your feet hips a distance apart. Lower it all the way to your mat. We'll start with some basic gym crunches. Elbows out wide, palms behind your head. Take a breath in, and as you exhale, lift straight up. Lower and lift. Breathe, exhale to lift. Keep your gaze straight up at the ceiling. Press through your feet. You can flare your toes wide on the mat. Keep your low back rounded down. As you lift, reach your torso straight up rather than reaching forward. Yeah, four more. Chest reaching for sky. Three, two, and one. Nice job. Lower your head, neck, and shoulders down. Supine so figure four with uh, with right ankle or left ankle over right thigh rather, and taking that same left arm long by your side. So right arm comes behind your head with your elbow out wide. Take a breath in here, and as you exhale, to lift, twist, lower down, lift, twist, lower down. Exhale and twist. Breathe as you lower, lift, twist. Take it down. Four more. Three more. Last two. 
That was it. Other side, plant the soles of your feet, hips a distance apart. Take your right ankle over your left thigh, right arm is long by your side, palm in the earth, left elbow out wide, take your breath in. And as you exhale, lift, twist, lower, back down. Lift, twist, untwist, and lower. Exhale, and breathe. Reaching your elbow up towards your knee, keeping your hips and low back down. Four more. Last three, last two, and one, take it down, woo! Reach your arms out long overhead, lengthen your heels forward, stretch your whole body, take a big breath in. Let a big breath go. Nice, setting up for Navasana or boat pose prep. Bring your feet hips with distance apart yet again. This time arms long by your side, both of them. And take a breath in. As you exhale, lift your head, neck, shoulders, reach forward. Hold and hover. As you inhale, reach your toes forward. Exhale, feet down. Give a little extra lift in your head, neck, shoulders, and then release. That's it. We're going to repeat that. Take a breath in. Exhale, lift head, neck, shoulders. Inhale, point toes. Exhale, toes down. A little pulse up, and then take it down. Here we go. Reach, extend. Lower, lift, lower. Reach, extend legs. Lower legs, lift chest lower. Whoo, you got it. Four more. Three more. You got it. Last two. One more. Oh, you did it. Woo, hug your knees into your chest, side to side, rocks or rolls. Big breath in through your nose. Big open mouth, exhale, release some of that hot air from inside your body. Amazing work, Woo. When you're ready, grab behind your thighs, rock and roll the length of your spine a few times. We'll make our way all the way up to downward facing dog. If you want to trot around it in Dasana to add in there, take it. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a big breath in. Let a big breath go. Inhale, soften your knees, look forward. Exhale, travel top of space. Halfway lift, inhale. Forward fold, let it go. Grab your light weights, inhale. Chair, weights to shoulders, weights to sky. Press your weights together overhead. We'll do some tricep dips. Now you have the option to take one heavier weight if you'd like, you can hold it by the sides. Otherwise, really press them together overhead. Bend your elbows at 90 degrees, take a breath in, and as you exhale, press the straighter arms. Breathe, press, breathe, press. Sit a little deeper in your chair, pull your hip points forward and up, engage your abdomen, protect your low back. Now focus on your arms, wrap your triceps forward, elbows up, biceps framing your ears. If you go further down, it's just a stretch for your triceps, that's okay. If you pause about 90, that just gives you a little touch more work to do. Take what works for you today. Keep hugging your elbows forward. Eight more. Seven. Six. Last five, you've got it. Four more. Last three. Hands to heart in two. And one, nice work, hands to heart. Let your weights hang down. Take your feet, hips with distance apart. Let's just find a little pulse here. Lift, lower, lift. A little bit of squat, suitcase squat. Squeeze your booty, rip your mat in half when you lift up. Heart stays, rise. Just four more. Last three, hands to heart in two. And one, hands to heart, inhale, lift your right leg high, one leg mountain. Exhale, press and lunge, step it back. 90 degree bend in your front knee, back heel lifts. Let's find our double lunge. Pulse it down, hold it low. It's lower, lower, lift. Lower, lower, lift. Elbows out wide. Pulse your knee right under your hip and rise up. Press that person's hand off of your hamstring. You got it. Fire up your right glute. Pull your right hip forward. Pulse, pulse, lift. Yeah, feeling it in that back quad, your right leg quad, right? Whew. Just four more. Last three. 
two more. Hold it low in one, take it low. Okay, we're back to our lunges with the squat. So it's a pulse, pulse, squat to your chair weights, hang down, other side. Pulse, pulse, squat, pulse, pulse, squat. It's like we're traveling our lunge. Now, if you want, you can put your weights down. If you want, you can jump it forward and back, get more cardio out of it. Guys, take it at your pace. Just four more of these. Amazing work today, friends. Last three. Squeeze your booty here. Last two. And one. Hands to heart. Step it back to your low, to your crescent lunge. Left foot forward. Take a breath in. Exhale, open up warrior two. Left foot over your ankle, or rather knee over your ankle. Let's find rotator cuffs as you inhale. One palm stacks on top. Exhale, squeeze it out. Other palm on top, breathe in. Exhale, take it back. Hug your elbows into your side bodies. Rip your mat in half energetically, fire up your legs. Solid in your base, deep in your lunge. Open your heart to the side. Lift your heart high and breathe. Nice work. Keeping your weight space up, in line with your elbows. Four more. Three more. Really squeezing back, last two. Shoulders squeezing together down your back. Give me one more. Woo, hands to heart, nice. So inhale, start to pivot forward. Take it down to your low lunge, clasp your weights down. Step it back, high plank. Right palm is your base, walk your right arm one inch forward, roll open to your side plank. Stagger your front, your left foot on top to the forward, so it's staggered forward. Hips lift up and down, lift up nice and high first, and then we'll one, two lower, one, two lift, lower, lower, lift, lift, breathe, exhale, squeeze. You'll really feel your external oblique sliding up. They're lifting you up high, glutes engage, squeeze your navel in and up towards your spine. So take the weight and the pressure off of that bottom shoulder blade by pressing the earth away. So just press yourself up high, hold your arm there, lift and lower. Feel your lower hip in action, four more. Three more. Last two, one more, reach high, take a breath. Chaturanga Dandasana as you're ready. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, full breath in. Full breath out. Inhale, come forward to high plank. Lower down to a forearm plank. Elbows directly under your shoulders. Shift back through your heels. Get long in your spine. You press your palms into the earth or bring your fists together. Let's run out our knees. Jog your knees up and down. Left side, right side. Tap, 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 tap. We'll roll to our right hip and four more. Three more. Last two. And one, roll to your right hip. Take your palm parallel to the short edge of your mat, still set up with your forearm. Straighten your top leg, bottom leg stays bent. Hips are stacked here, take a breath in. And as you exhale, lift it up high. Lower, lift, breathe, exhale. Hips stay nice and level. Couple of things, stay out of that shoulder socket, press your elbow down, your forearm down to give you that lift. Peeling your heart forward and up. Nice, flex your toes so you kick back through your heel. Now rotate your toes down so your heel is pointing up towards the sky as you lift. Feel that activating your low, your upper hip, rather your upper glute. Make sure your heel's staying in line with glute. You got it. Four more. Last three. Last two. One more and then hold it at the top. Hold, small pulse here, pulse. Pulse. Rotate your toes down. Four. Last three. Last two. And one. Woo! Take that top leg, figure four in front of you, straighten your bottom leg. So your foot's planted facing forward, same with your knee. Just gonna lift and lower that bottom leg now. Squeeze and flex your toes. Kick through your heel. Try to keep your hips stacked. So you're lifting from the inner thigh. You got it. Just four more. Last three. We're gonna find our forearm plank again in two. Last one. 
Find your forearm plank, roll to it. You got it. Hold here. You can always pedal out your knees again if you'd like. Jogging through your knees. We've got a hold for eight, seven. Roll to your left side in six. Last five, last four, three, two. Roll to your left forearm. You got it. Elbow down on your shoulder. Bend your lower knee, straight your top leg. Breath in, exhale, lift. Lower, lift. Heel and hip are in line. Press your elbow, your forearm down to get your ribs, your chest broadened out of your shoulder socket. Soften both shoulders from your ears. Flex your toes back, point your toes down. Lift up from your heel and your inner thigh. Nice and slow. Four more. You got this. Yeah, Tomo, last three. How you doing, Serena? Last two. Hold it at the top in one. Hold it up. A little pulse, small pulse. Point your toes down, friends. You got it. Kick up through that heel. Last four. Last three. Hold it up in two and one. Take a breath in and exhale. Release that foot down to that figure four. Extend your bottom leg long. Still staying lifted from the earth. Start to flex and lower that long leg. Hips stay stacked. Heart stays lifted. Press down in your grounded palms. You got it. Flex your toes. Lift from the inseam of your lower leg. Just four more. Last three. Find your forearm plank again in two. Last time there. One more. Woo! Forearm plank, friends. Last time. Give it what you got. Shift back through your heels. Hold. Get nice and long. A little bit of movement here. Inhale, shift forward. So dart forward nice and long. Exhale, shift back energetically through your heels. Forward, back. Forward, shift back. Breathe. Exhale. Four more. Last three. Knees down in two. Last one. Knees down. Walk your spine back like a mini child's pose to stretch out. You can shimmy side to side on your hips. Full breath in. Full breath out. Rise up to a seat. Face the front. Face me. Send your legs for a moment. You're going to stretch it out now and then close out class. We'll start with cow face closed legs. You can plant both feet about hips with the spine. We'll start with your right leg underneath. Let's take that heel by your hip. So your knees about forward and then cross your left knee on top of the right. So our feet are about 45 degrees. Flex your toes back in, both sit bones down. This might look more like fire log pose with legs stacked just like this. Wherever you're at is great. Sit bones in the earth, toes flex. Get long in your spine and add on some arms. Inhale your palms straight up. Then exhale, bend your elbows up, touch your shoulder blades with your fingertips. So hug your triceps forward. Option to take that right palm up and tap your left elbow gently. Pull yourself up and back even more. Avoid collapsing forward, hunching into your shoulders. Sit up nice and tall, sit bones grounded. A few more rounds of breath. If you want to add on, you can take that right arm, add on, arch your arms, bend it at your low back. Maybe your fingertips reach and you grab, hold. Or you can grab your t-shirt or a strap or a belt or something. Hug your arms back into your side bodies. Just breathe. Flex your toes. And two more cycles of breath here. And one more breath in. One more breath out. As you inhale, reach both arms up to the sky. Exhale, take them down by your side. We'll switch out our legs. Extend them forward first. If you need to shake out your knees, that's fine. Let's go for the other side. Left heel by your hip. And take that right knee, stack it on top. So our knees are going about the midline, or you have your fire lock stacked shins. Flex your toes back towards your shins, towards your knees. Sit bones, root down. Breathe in to reach your arms up. And exhale to tap your fingertips to your shoulder blades. Stay here, get tall. Maybe you take left arm to right elbow. Reach up and back even more. Frame your head. A little picture frame with your arms. If you want, arch your arms. Grab for your fingertips or a belt or t-shirt. Wrap your arms in by your body, get tall. Lift your heart up. 
Two more cycles of breath. And one more breath in, and one more breath out. Once you inhale, reach your palms to the sky. And then exhale, release your arms down. Nice, friends. You can always fold over your legs anytime when you do these shapes. Let's find a wide leg seated forward fold. Take your legs out to the wide edges of your space, wherever is comfortable, but wherever you're feeling a little bit of stretch. If your knees stay super bent, that's fine. It's usually tight hamstrings and hips. Just find where it works. If you want them together, that's great. Flex your toes towards you. Try to keep your thighs and toes pointed up. Full breath in, get long. Stay here or exhale. Walk it forward, maybe lowering to forearms or a block. Try to soften your neck, soften your upper body. Keep your spine long, heart always reaching forward as you soften. Toes stay flexed and pointing up. You got it. And breathe into your inner thighs. Breathe into your hamstrings. Just two more cycles of breath. And as you're ready with your next inhale, walk your torso back up and then pull your legs in together. We'll lower down to our back. We'll take your own way to get there. Lower it down nice and slow. Hug knees to chest at the bottom. Give yourself a nice tight squeeze. Reach through for happy baby. Just a couple rounds here. Rounds of breath here. You can extend your heels if you want more hamstring action, more love. <laughs> Maybe you grab your thighs and just gently rock side to side and cradle yourself in this way. When you're ready, draw your knees together. Tee your arms out wide, breath in. As you exhale, release your knees to the left side of your space. Shimmy your left hip in the middle. Gaze straight up or to your right. Take a moment in a supine twist. Make sure both shoulders are on the earth. Just another cycle of breath in this shape. With your next inhale, draw your gaze back up to the sky. Use your exhale to be strong through your core. Draw your knees back up. Realign your spine on the mat. Full breath in. Exhale, release your knees to the right. Shimmy your right hip underneath you. Middle of your space. Hips are stacked. Gaze up or to your left. Both shoulders on the ground. Chin off of chest. Find your breath. Two more cycles of breath, friends. And use your next inhale to draw your gaze back up to the sky. Use your exhale with your core to draw your knees back up to the center, realign your spine. Hug your knees into your chest, give yourself a tight squeeze. Wrap up into a small tight ball. Get small, as tight, as compact as you can today. Take a breath in. As you exhale, release hot air, release to your Shavasana, release anything you don't need to hold on to any longer in your life. Send your heels down, take your arms out wide, palms up. Breathe in and out of your lungs fully, walk your shoulder blades underneath you, soften your shoulders to the earth, your, your jaw, let it get soft, unclench any tightness you're holding in between your teeth. Enjoy Shavasana for a few cycles of breath, stillness. Start to deepen your breath. Pull in some self-love here in your Shavasana. Every breath in, give yourself a little hug of, of uh, warmth, of self-affirmation that you are enough. Next few rounds of breath, repeat silently to yourself the mantra, I am. And say it with me inside your head, I am. A couple more rounds of breath, keep repeating your mantra to yourself. Let's unite with breath together. Again, take a big full breath in through your nose. Open mouth, sigh it out. 
Friends, we can clear off our practice right here. If you want to rise up to a comfortable seat, start by rolling out wrists and ankles, fingers and toes start to wiggle. Maybe you take that big morning stretch, reach your arms long overhead, point your toes forward, full breath in. The option to roll to your favorite side breath out, linger in your fetal pose just for a moment. Bice up this pillow, enjoy the awesomeness of this shape. And when you are ready, rise up to that comfortable seat. Support yourself on the way. Maybe you're remaining in Shavasana. Absolutely awesome. Sit up tall if you're sitting up. And take a big breath in through your nose. Open mouth side out once again. Soften your shoulders from your ears. Bring your hands to your heart if you'd like. And I thank you all for showing up, for being here, being present today. You're all amazing. You are enough. Give yourself more love. Bring my hands up to my third eye center. A friendly reminder to smile, breathe, and go slowly. I hinge forward in gratitude. Namaste.